the last 10 years, Karen and I have travelled quite a lot. I can remember a time when we were pretty proud actually to take, I think it was 50 flights in one year. It's, it's not something that we could probably say today. At the same time, I think it's only through travelling that we grew up. And it's only through these experiences that we started caring about what was around us. It's been a while that we were thinking about the bike and climb trip. James loves biking and Arthur has been going on his baby trailer nearly since he was born. It didn't seem too crazy of an idea to add another trailer to carry all our gear and basically head off into the unknown on a cool adventure with less of the pollution. I think as soon as you have a kid, you can't really bury your head in the sand anymore. You can no longer pretend that the world ends with you. And we want the world to be there in the future, just as beautiful as it is now for Woo! Arthur and his children and his children's children. In March, we were all ready to set off for a bike and climb trip along the Danube. But then basically COVID-19 came along and reared its ugly head and... We stayed at home, just like everybody else. After two months of confinement, we were just craving adventure. Arthur, more than anybody. Should to go outside, little man? When we became parents, I think we were a bit worried that our lifestyle was going to have to change and we wouldn't be able to go on adventures like that, like we used to. But actually, in reality, we probably do way more fun things now with, with Arthur than, than ever. I think kids adapt to just about anything, and Arthur's been going outside since, he's, since he was born, basically. This is Arthur at his happiest. Even if we couldn't travel more than 100 kilometers from home because of the travel restrictions that the French government put in place, we decided we were still going to go outside and basically just see whatever we could find. We're really lucky that we've got loads of cool climbing spots close to the house, and so what we did was to take a map, mark all these places, and then basically create a pretty fun route that cycled between them. We tried our best to stick to as small a paths as possible, basically so we could maximize the 100 kilometers that we were allowed to travel. We didn't start with uh, big expectations. We just wanted to be outside and we thought it was going to be this tiny little adventure next to home. But actually, in reality, it was so much more than that. Whilst a few of the cliffs on our trip are genuinely world-class, like Moriers or Bukes, most of the cliffs are what you'd probably call locals only. They're really nice little places where you can go, train, have a decent session, but I wouldn't bring friends that were coming to visit to go climbing at these places. However, what was really amazing and something that we, we weren't expecting at all is that even climbing at some of these less desirable locations was actually really, really fun. It's hard to put your hand on what it was, but the fact that you're accessing your crack by your own means is so much more, much more personal. They're cliffs that we've been climbing at tens if not hundreds of times before, but on this trip they became just as special as going somewhere genuinely amazing. We were just happy to be out there climbing. I would never say that it was all pure pleasure. There's definitely moments where I hated you for doing the itineraries. There were definitely a lot of complicated, darker moments where things weren't quite going to plan. But, but I think it's those tough moments that really make you appreciate all of the great ones. Maybe just because you're tired, every opportunity to have a stop is a good opportunity. So we discovered so many places that are basically at our doorstep. When you're riding your bike, I feel like life somehow slows down. You see more things, you you appreciate more things and there are so many amazing sites that we discovered on the trip that we had no idea even existed. Arthur loves to be in his trailer. You can hear him laughing, he's singing. Clearly he's having a good time there. Actually super, super good motivation to make you push a little bit harder up that big steep hill. Arthur can stay three, four hours in his trailer, no problem. It wasn't always like this. But little by little, he, he got used to it. In fact, it's pretty much like everything with kids. If you take it easy and go at their pace, there's pretty much nothing they can't do. Yeah, Arthur feels at home in his trailer, even if he's not at home. Home away from home. 
from overhanging pockets to super technical slabs, the variety of the climbing around our house is just incredible. Even on a bike, within a couple of hours you can be somewhere completely different, climbing in a completely different style. We knew it was never going to be a performance trip. If you choose to go on a bike and climb trip with a baby, you know you're going to make a compromise. We came up with some pretty interesting self b leg techniques for the times when Arthur needed some attention. And you basically have to try and time any red points or serious tries with his snoozers. It's definitely a bit of a compromise, but one that totally works. You definitely don't have the same freedom when you go climbing with a baby. But that's actually something that I kind of like. I feel like it takes a lot of pressure off of me because at the end of the day, if I fall off the roof, I know it's actually not really that important because there's Arthur just down there on the floor waiting for me to build a house out of sticks or show him how great this one pedal is. Whatever it is, I'm probably climbing better than I have done in a long time, so thanks a lot for that, Arthur. <laughs>